Okay, so you've got your new phone, new phone, new phone, and you either used iCloud or you did the phone-to-phone -phone transfer that you can do from an old iPhone to a new iPhone, and either one of those work really good. Again, uh, if you are using iCloud, great option, especially if, if you have enough storage to be able to uh, make sure everything's backed up. If not, the phone-to-phone -phone transfer works really good. Um, but you're done with your old phone. And this is one of the things when you do the phone to phone transfer or anything like that, uh, the moment that it's kind of done, it comes up on your old phone. Like, would you like to get this ready to, uh, send back for the Apple trading program? Or do you want to get it ready to be able to give to somebody else or whatever that is, whatever that may be. If there's something, oh, that's just, I'm like, what is that? What is that right there? It seems to be nothing, nothing. It's just something on my screen. Anyways, you, uh, it, it wants to get the phone ready, your old phone, to send back to, or to give to a friend or family or whatever. But uh, I don't like doing that because I want to spend some time. Number one, I want to spend some time with the new phone to make sure I actually want it before I do that. Because a lot of times, you know, you, you realize when you get your new phone that you're like, well, I just spent X amount of dollars on it and there's a lot of cool features, none of them that I really use. And so you're like, I, I, I'm actually just as happy with my old phone and I'd rather save the money. You know, buyer's remorse. That's actually a thing. The other thing for me, which is important, is that uh, I want to make sure everything actually came across that was supposed to. So maybe it didn't. So you realize that something wasn't turned on in iCloud backup. So yeah, you can go turn that back on and then kind of redo it again before you send the other phone away. So the last thing you kind of want to do is have your old phone erased right away. So I have my new phone. It has uh, everything on it. Seems to be perfect. Uh, I have decided that I'm going to keep it. We'll talk about that later because there's, there's only a couple of reasons. If you have an iPhone 14 or 15, you know what, unless you need the latest and greatest, I don't really know if the 16's that big of an upgrade. Um, but on, on your old phone, and I'll just kind of bring this up here, and I'll also maybe even do a little screen recording so you guys can see what's going on here. And um, again, it'll come up here usually, like, would you like to get this ready? I, I always say no because I want that time. But it's a real simple thing for you and I to do. Now, the one thing you have to be aware of is that there's a lot of features that are enabled for security so that someone can't get this phone, your old iPhone, and turn off like the Find My feature and things like that. Uh, so what you want to do is nice and easy. You're going to come into your settings here and you'll see the settings um, and you'll go into general. So once you find general, which is right here, and you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll actually see transfer or reset phone, right? It used to, as far as I know, it used to, in the previous operating systems, really just say reset, but you'll see transfer or reset phone here. So you're just going to click on that. Uh, prepare for new iPhone so you can make sure everything's ready to transfer if you haven't done that already. But if you have, it'll actually just make sure that iCloud is all ready. Uh, you'll have a reset, erase all content and settings. So I'm going to actually do uh, erase all content and settings so it gets rid of everything. So we'll just tap on this, right? And at this point in time, you see erasing will sign out of your Apple account and remove your personal data so this phone can be safely traded in or given away, right? The following items will be safely removed from the phone. Apps and data, so for mine, 92 gigs is going to be getting rid of. My Apple account, my Find My Activation Lock, uh, and the wallet. Yes? So at this point in time, uh, I'm going to just stop for a minute because uh, I won't be able to do the screen recording because I'm actually going to do this. So we're going to go to my screen recording here and we're going to stop this. And I'm simply going to uh, send, this is, why I use, this is why I use Apple stuff. I'm going to use AirDrop because AirDrop is the cat's meow photos. And we're just going to click on this and send this to my MacBook. Boop, 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 boop. And that's another thing. If you have some files that haven't gone anywhere, uh, this is a great time to AirDrop them to your new iPhone. This is a great time to AirDrop them to your computer. Whatever it is, I'm just going to make sure it came across, which it did. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to close this, go back to my thing here. So now you guys may be able to see this erase, right? Erase my phone. Okay, so I'm going to sit continue and it, it comes up and it will be like, are you, are you sure, right? 
Are you sure you want to erase all media content and settings? This cannot be undone. So you first off, read, read all the stuff that comes up in your screen. Cause that's kind of, kind of important. It's the reason it's actually there. So I'm like, yeah, we're good. Erase. And I had to put it in a passcode. So again, this is kind of first step for it to verify. Now I have to put in my Apple account password. So this is where I hope and pray that I actually remember what it is. Uh, and then you're going to turn this off because this is actually disabling all the find my features and all that. So make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi because if you're not connected to Wi-Fi, then uh, nothing's nothing's going to work because it can't actually connect to anything, right? And I'm pretty sure I know my password. Now, if you get this wrong like three times, uh, it may lock your phone. So this is an important time for you and I to kind of verify this stuff. So because I'm a little worried because uh, I, I use the, you know, passcode feature so much. That is uh, something that is great, but you also end up just not, you know, you end up not remembering any of your passwords. Yes? Yes. Well, if you do happen to forget it, like it's happening right now, you can do a forget password. You guys need to see that, right? Forget password. Problem is, is I will have to change it. New password. Yeah, so at this point in time, it can take a little bit of time, I find, for it to actually do this. So uh, don't get into a panic mode and start like pushing buttons like crazy, which seems to be what a lot of people end up doing. So we're just going to wait, I guess. There it goes. See, we're, we're done. It's off and running. Erase it. So I think the biggest issue that you may come into for those of you that are doing this maybe for the first time or haven't used their passwords in a little bit of time is going to be just remembering your password. Uh, so what I would do is make sure you know it. If you don't know it, go to, you can go to, I think it's like iforgot.apple.com and, and reset it there. Or on your new phone, you can reset it from there. Now the nice thing is, is once you reset it, it will kind of update it on your machines. Uh, just so that they know. But other than that, it's going to erase, set it up just like it's a brand new iPhone. And if you're doing the Apple transfer thing where you actually send it back, um, they give you a little box. If you do it like me, if you do it in store, you just do all this. Uh, but it has all the packing stuff, so that's nice and secure. And uh, it's all, all postage paid. And uh, you're good to go. All right, guys. Uh, that took a little bit longer than I thought it was, but that's my own fault because... Um, password, right? Yeah. Too many passwords. I must have a bajillion of them. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, we'll see you guys next video. And, uh, if you guys have any, uh, questions on the new iPhone, want to make a, me to make a video, let me know. And uh, I will, I will make one for you guys. All right, guys, I'm out. Later.